Rivalry Baseball in Yuma. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Scott Gross. Cibola and Kofa locked horns last night. Under the lights in game two of a three-game regular season series to Dean Stout Ballpark on the campus of Copa High School. We go the Copa Kings looking to even the season series at one. There they are. Cibola senior Antonio Torres on the hill in the bottom of the first with two outs and runners on the corners. Kofa sophomore Z Cordova ropes his pitch to left center, scoring Sebastian Villegas from third. Angel Fragoso races into third, and Cordova has himself a stand-up RBI double. Next, it'll be Torres getting freshman Walter Gallegos swinging to end the home half of the first. A 1-1 lead for senior Roberto Mendoza going into the second. Cibola's Andrew Yi leads off to second with this grounder to third. A nice play by Angel Fragoso, who fires to Aiden Rodriguez at first for the 5-3 putout. Next for the Raiders, it's senior Aiden Guzman, and he hits a slow roller to Fragoso at third. Guzman beats out the throw for an infield hit. Moments later, with Guzman running, it's the pitcher's best friend, the 6 4 3 double play. Kofa and pitcher Roberto Mendoza out of the inning. The final score in this game was Cibola pulling this one out by a score of 7 to 1. Two afternoon baseball yesterday, Yuma Catholic. With a nice festive crowd on hand to catch the Parker Bronx and Yuma Catholic Shamrocks, rock starter and senior captain Austin Priest working well into the fifth inning in a scoreless tie. A leadoff batter, he's going to hit this breaking ball to short where junior Juan Lugo has a get away from him, sticks with it, spins and throws to first. It's good as good. Nice stretch there as well. Moments later, with a runner on second, Priest introduces Uncle Charlie and freezes the batter for a called strike three. Now, it works so well. Priest says, let's try it again. Another breaking ball on the outside part of the plate, a swing and a miss, and that's just downright nasty. Bottom of the fifth, after a leadoff walk, no more to Petey, steals second, standing up, maybe should have slid there. Now, with runners on the corners, a grounder to short, brings on to Petey from third, the 6-3 putout, though, nets a run. Rocks take a 1-0 lead. They go on to win in six innings, 10-0. They've now won four games in a row. On the same campus, prep softball between Parker and Yuma Catholic. The Lady Shamrocks well in control. Alyssa Soto is in the circle, enjoying a 13-1 lead into the fourth. First batter, Soto brings the heat and gets the foul tip strikeout. Nice job by the catcher to hang on. In moments later, it's going to be a ground ball to short where freshman Alondra Cordova fields and fires to Melanie Jones at first. To so the home half of the fourth, Isabella Ruiz shows bunt but pulls back and smacks a base hit to left field. Later in the inning, with runners on the corners, it'll be Alondra Cordova, and she launches this rocket to deep right center field. It's going to be mishandled out there. Rocks are going to score twice. Yuma Catholic has no problems with Parker running away with a 16-1 victory to Gila Ridge High School with the Centennial Coyotes in town. Hi, ladies. Looking to extend their four-game winning streak. A happy birthday to the Campo Twins, Alyssa and Ashley. The Hawks looking to give them a win on their special day. Clarissa Radar on the circle to start things for Gila Ridge. Top of the first, Centennial senior Alexis Valencia with a running slap hit that finds the glove of freshman Is Isabella Burke at third for the first out. Next, it's going to be Candace Walding with his short grounder, which is fielded by Carmen Salinas, who fires to Amy Cisneros at first. Scoreless top of the first, Centennial's Samantha Jarvis looking to return the favor. Carmen Salinas at the plate, Amy Cisneros at first, and She's loose. She'll swipe second base with a stolen base. Jarvis would get Salinas to put out to third for the first out. Next, she gets the Hawks' Addison Duke to fly out to Sierra Walding in center. Both teams held scoreless, but Centennial's bats would come alive. They win 11-0 in five innings. Not a nice gift for the Hawks' Campo Twins. More prep softball from yesterday. Antelope with a sweep over San Pasquale in game one. It was all Antelope 36-2. Winning pitcher was Yareli Manriquez. She went four for four at the plate as well. Hamina Arana went four for four with a home run and six RBIs. Yamali Manriquez went three for three with a double and three ribbies. In game two, all antelope again, 27 2. Marissa Carrillo with the winning pitcher with three Ks, allowing two hits. At the plate, Elena Jaime was four for five, two doubles and three stolen bases. Katie Williams, two for three, a double, three stolen bases, three runs driven in. And Hamina Arana was two for three with a home run. The sweep improves Antelope to five and five on the season. In boys tennis yesterday, San Luis won their second meet in a row, this time by getting by Maricopa, 6-3. 
In number one singles, San Luis Jr. Derek Aguirre won both straight sets in 6-3, 6-4. In number two singles, San Luis Sr. Christian Garcia also won in straight sets, 6-3 and 6-1. The duo also won their doubles match together by a score of 8-4. In Yuma, a big showdown between Sobola and Kofa with the Kings escaping with a 5-4 victory. Sobola Sr. and number one single, Matthew Davis, won in straight sets, 6-0 and 6-0. Also, the Raiders' number two single, Sr. Diego Servin, also won in straight sets, 6-0. 6-3, but the Kings would pull out the victory late, according to head coach Santos Rangel. He credits Luis and Edgar Rodriguez, shown here with the winning and vital matches. Luis, a hard-fought three-match set, 6-7, 6-4, and 10-7. Edgar also won his singles match, 6-0 and 7-5, plus his doubles match, along with Nicola Corpus, 8-4. And the NBA playoffs will not feature LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers last night's 121-110 loss to the Phoenix Suns, along with a Spurs win over Denver, officially eliminated L.A. from the play-in contention with three games remaining in the regular season. That's the Mega Sports Block. That's all we have for you.